Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, you find a way to win or you find a way to lose. I'm getting ready to go exercise, but I said let me drop this video because while I'm exercising, I'm going to be listening to uh, <clears throat> Oscar De La Hoya's full interview on um, that Shea Shea, Club Shea Shea, whatever. But anyway, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, follow me on Twitter, Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. I leave that donation for that fried rice and chicken wings. Okay, listen, man. So much talk about 147 because of boots. A whole lot of talk at 154. I mean, 154 has become the new 140 or what 135 was because of, you know, Crawford and Virgil Ortiz. Um, really because of those two. But uh, as a result of talking about Crawford and Ortiz, there was a lot of talks about Majumov and Bohacha. That being said, because of the talks about boots at 147, people are saying, hey, He's a threat to Crawford. Boots' dad came out and said, if Boots would have fought Marjimov, then Boots would have knocked him out. Uh, Crawford failed to knock him out. Boots would have knocked Marjimov out. I said, you know what, Bozy Ennis, hold your horses. Don't be like these other uh, father trainers who start saying, making these, the, the, these, the, these uh, weightless statements. You know what I'm saying? Stuff you can't back up that really it, it, it doesn't have any teeth to it. Just you out here, um, you know, lauding your son for something that he hasn't done, although you believe he can do it. So that being said, I think Boots gets an opportunity to show us or give us an idea on how he could perform if the opportunity presented himself to face a guy like Marjamov or face a guy like Bohachuk. And the way he gets an opportunity to face somebody like Stanley Yunus. Now, Marjamov, Bohachuk, and Stanley Yunus being the same, I don't think so. But that's what somebody pointed out. Well, if he beats Stanley Yunus, well, then he'll beat Marjamov. If he beats Stanley Yunus, well, he'll beat Bohachuk. First of all, <clears throat> let's, let's just get this clear. You know, in boxing, there are different styles of fighting. And I understand when you hear these guys talk, you probably think they're all from the same place, which they're not. Um, I think what you got, Uzbekistan, Lithuania, and then Ukraine, right? Not the same. But when it comes to the style of fighting these guys bring, you may see some similarities to where they bring pressure, but it's different. If you watch Majumov, Majumov is all about making sure that he's not a stationary target to where you can land on him. But he uses his athleticism and explosiveness, right, to land his shots on you. And he has speed and he has timing. Bohuchuk does not fight like Majumov. Stan Yunus does not fight like Majumov. Majumov, to me, he fights more, although Bohacek is from Ukraine, uh, Majumov fights more like a Lomachenko Yusik. They don't jump in quite like that, but that up and down herky-jerky style where you just can't, you, 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 you can't time them. So that's why Crawford was smart to just shoot the jab because the jabs help to stabilize things for him. But to come and look at what Stan Yunus does, he doesn't move like that. He's more or less a pressure fighter, more of a brawler. You know, can he box? Yeah, but he's not a guy who's going to get up on his toes and float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Now, for those who say Stan Yunus is a great boxer, he can do, he can do both, box and brawl. When? Where? This man has 15 fights, nine knockouts. When, when have you seen this man get up on his toes and do anything other but high guard and walk you down and bang you out? That's his style of fighting. I mean, he's a brawler. You got free swingers. You got the boxer brawler, counter puncher. You got all. I mean, but but when it comes to Stan Yunus, I think he's more of a pressure fighter, and I say more of a brawler. Like he wants to be, uh, you know, in close proximity, right, close quarters, and he would look. He's looking for the mashup crash up. Now, there's one fighter who used to be able to brawl, bang, mashup crash up, and then just out of nowhere get up on his toes and box. And that was a. Uh, Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto, man, I, I did not know that guy could box the way he sh he was able to and the way he displayed when he fought Margarito. Um, and there was someone else he was fighting when he got up on his toes and he was just putting on a, a, a display. I think it was New York. But that Margarito fight, both of those fights, I was like, Jesus Christ, man, Cotto can box. You ain't, you'll ain't, you never see Stanley Yunus do no shit like that. He, he doesn't have those kind of layers to him. So that being said, if Boots got an opportunity to fight Stan Yunus, because Stan Yunus can't do what Cotto can do, and he can't 
move from the first second to the first round to the last second of the last round with feints and erratic movements to, to get your time enough to where you can and not be stationary where you can land like Majumov can, I think Boots has a pretty good chance to get Stanley Unis out of there. Because Stanley Unis gets hit in every fight. Now, as far as saying well, Stanley Unis, he, he's like Bohachuk. There's nothing for me to say there. There's absolutely no simile, no similarity there except Stan Yunus. I say the one similarity he has with both of them is he seems to be mentally tough. <clears throat> but Bohachuk is a volume puncher. He's a boxer, and he's coming straight ahead, and he can crack, tall and lanky. Okay, all the things that Stan Yunus is not. So, for Boots, he's not. I think Boots would have a much tougher time against Bohachuk. And I hear people, oh, well, Virgil Ortiz hurt Bohachuk. Okay, great. Bohachuk has a different style. Styles make fights. And when you look at Boots Ennis, man, Boots Ennis isn't the guy who's going to come in from the first round high guard and just step to you like Virgil Ortiz every single shot. Did y'all notice almost every shot Virgil Ortiz threw, even his jabs, right, were shots to knock his opponent out when he fought Bohachuk which to me was a mistake. To me, he should have been more relaxed, you know, shoot the jab out with speed, you know. Not everything has to be a knockout knockout punch. And I, maybe that's what caused Virgil Ortiz to, to kind of slow in some spots of the fight as well. In addition to that, I didn't think Virgil Ortiz could perform the way he did because his first two fights at 154, again, he didn't look nothing like that. So my thing is, again, how did Virgil Ortiz get, where did he find that goddamn power up? You know what I'm saying? To, to perform the way he did the first second, the first round to the last second, the last round, even though I had him losing. But when it comes to Boots Ennis facing a guy like Bohachuk, I think Bohachuk presents a lot of problems for Boots. We haven't seen Boots fight somebody that's as tall as him with that kind of reach. Who And plus, Boots is a big boy, but let's just go ahead and say Bohachuk's bigger than him, right? But to, 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 to let his hands go like that. So he would create, I think he would create problems for Boots. I'm not saying he beats Boots. I think he creates problems. But Stan Yunus can't do that. So to think Stan Yunus is going to get in there and, and box and, and use his jab and use his combinations and to be able to be on the inside, man, and throw check hooks and have the high guard, man, and, and use his timing and IQ and all that on a guy like Boots. Y'all need to hold your horses, not take it to the stupid. Now, one thing about Stan Yunus, if Boots chooses, to fight on the inside, and like he did against the Vanity Sea, and spend so much time trying to throw every punch like Virgil Ortiz against Bohachuk with knockout intentions, I think Boots gives Stan Yunus a chance to clip him. And I say that because that's where Stan Yunus thrives. He likes to be in a firefight. Now, when I say clip him, that doesn't mean knock him out cold, but he could hit him with some shit. It's the shots you don't see that hurt. You guys know that. And Stanley Yunus could get an opportunity to land some shit because that's where he thrives. Now, if you guys are saying, well, Stanley Yunus can't fight on the inside if Boots would dominate him. Okay. You go watch Stanley Yunus, Boots, uh, Boot, Bootyev. You go watch that shit. And you tell me about Stanley Yunus and his chin and, his, uh, and, and how strong he is mentally and what he can dish out but what he can take. And then you say, okay, put Boots in this there with Stanley Yunus. Stanley Yunus is not David of Anacian. Y'all need to get that straight, okay? But still, when, when you start trying to compare Stan Yunus to Bohachuk, Stan Yunus to Majumov, I just don't think, um, I think we're talking apples and oranges. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, we're talking a goddamn uh, fish and deer meat. You know, there's no comparison. Now, when, when you talk about Amateur pedigree and stuff like that. But, I mean, look, they've all done well as as amateurs. Um, you got uh, Majumov, the man had over 300 fights. I have, Some consider him the best amateur ever. Ever. Over Lomachenko. But, you know, you got to throw Clarissa Shields in there because of her getting some gold medals. But over her ass, over, um, what's his name, um, uh, the, the, the Cuban cat, over Rigandau over Andy Cruz, over all these cats. Over all these cats. They say Marjamov was that guy. Okay? Stan Yunus was an Olympian. So there's some pedigree there. Bohachuk, 
I ain't really sure what he did as an amateur. But obviously, the man has some accolades, right? So that that's good for a guy like Stan Eunice. But, I mean, uh, the biggest – and the other thing is power. You look at uh, Stan Eunice, man, 15 fights, 9 KOs. He just doesn't seem to be that much of a power puncher. You look at uh, Bohachuk. This man, except for two fights, man, has knocked, knocked everybody out. You know what I'm saying? And Majumov, man, I think he has like a 70% KO ratio or something. But these guys can crack, and, and, and they can do it with one shot. Uh, Stan Yunus needs to kind of put his punches together. So Marjama Bohachuk, Stan Yunus being the same, and both centers is going to get a chance to prove if he can really handle a guy like Marjama for Bohachuk if he faces Stan Yunus and he passes the test with flying colors. I, I don't think that's a fair comparison. I, I just don't. I don't. Uh, I, I think Stan Yunus will get eaten alive by uh, Majumov and by Bohachuk. That's just me. He's mentally tough, so he'll probably just hang in there until his last breath. Then they come and check his pulse and be like, oh, he's out of here. He'll kill the man. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think who, since everybody wants to talk about Boots in this and Boots and how he would perform at 154, I'm trying to think, who could he cut his teeth on at 140? It keeps coming back to the same guy. Now, I'll tell you this. If instead of Stan Yunus, I'm like a broken record. I ain't going to say much. All I'll say is, throw Kavalioski's ass in there. And then now you got something. Okay? Mean Machine. But not, now you got something. Because we look at Mean Machine, he can box. He can bang. He moves a lot. Now, I don't know how he is these days. You know, the man, it's been a while now. He, he could have slowed down. But that mean machine that fought Crawford and that fought, um, that fought Virgil Ortiz, that guy was a problem. Uh, Stan Eunice is not that. Um, so just to take that guy and then look at Marjamov, look at Bohachuk, and then if I had to come down and say, hey, if uh, Marjamov, Kavalioskis, and Bohachuk, are the same fighter because the reason for saying that is because Kavalioskis would present a very huge hurdle for Boots to overcome, just like Majima from Bohachuk would. I would say that's, I could see that more than Stan Eunice. And I think, and, and, and the problem with this, a lot of people know who Mean Machine is now because of that fight with Crawford and with uh, Virgil Ortiz. Some people still don't know who Stan Eunice is. But I don't think Stan Eunice facing Boots is going to be the fight to help elevate Stan Eunice's career, kind of like when Pitbull Cruz fought Tank. That fight elevated his career. Um, I think Stan Eunice just gets tranquilized. But Kavalioskis, I think, you know, um, the legend continues. Even if he loses, he's going to be like, yo, this guy put Boots through hell. But that being said, we'll see what the future holds. But people, stop, stop, stop. Aside from these three guys, well, I guess what, it would be Eastern Europeans and they could all be cousins and shit. I mean, um, and they're tough. But as far as what they bring to the ring, I mean, it's three different, it's three different styles, man. None of them move like Bohachuk. None of them. None of them stand in the pocket. And bang like Stan Eunice. None of them. And none of them could get up on his toes and get on the outside and not box your ass with them long arms, right? And throw 70, 80 punches around like Bohachuk. So it's three different fighters. But I understand, you know, to see that these guys are okay with kind of getting into a, a bit of a firefight and coming forward. And so you think they're all the same. You know, if Boots beats Stan Eunice, so he basically be, he just beat Marjamoff and Bohachuk. Y'all, y'all got to do better. Stop doing that. I'm going to start up, you know, like that um, that Breakfast Club with that guy Charlemagne the God that got the donkey the other day. I'm going to start doing the um, don't take it to the stupid, you know, something like that of the goddamn week where I just compile all the goddamn ridiculous comments that are put underneath videos. And then we'll have the uh, uh, don't take it to the stupid uh, breakdown or rollout or something like that. I'll figure out some something catchy and clever. And we can sit back and laugh at the comments and shit people say. Because, yo, 
they're not holding their horses and they're taking it to the stupid. As a matter of fact, right now I'm about to take it to the street and go exercise and come back in my gym and lift weights and then go fish. Y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans all seven continents. Majamov, Bohachuk, Stanley Yunus, outstanding fighters, solid fighters, but they're not the same. Y'all got to take it easy. In the breeze.